So, tell me, what do you do when you go to a theatre, a play, a movie, whatever? Do you maybe walk in, take your jacket off, go get a drink, have a chat to somebody? Or do you walk in, throw a fucking mine on the stairs, equip your detonator, push the fucking button and blow everyone's sky fucking hard? Yeah! Uh, so yeah, I do the latter. Now in all seriousness, there are plenty of ways in each mission of Blood Money that you can assassinate your targets and all are good fun. For instance, in this mission you have two targets, one named Alvaro Delvade and one named Richard Delahunt, the former being an actor and suspected child molester, and the latter being a corrupt politician involved with the former in a child prostitution ring. Therefore, it is of no surprise why these two men are wanted dead. Now, in this mission you can take the approach of swapping fake guns with real ones and watching your hit take place before your very eyes, or you can even take a more hands-on approach and take place of the actor and kill the cunt yourself before crushing the concerned politician to death. Ah! Heck, you can even bring your trusty old sniper along with you and kill from afar. Or you could just place the mine at the door, walk away, push the button and blow that motherfucker sky fucking high! Yeah! Oh wait, I've already done that bit. Hello fellow officers, I'm just having a quick look at the security tape. Hey, fuck that! Die, you son of a bitch! Okay. <laughs> So yeah, try not to let them spot you. So now that we've taken care of that, we'll make our way through the garage toward these trucks and... Why, hello there, vomit bag. Get away. I'm sick. I'm sick. Well then, be healed. Oh wow, I suddenly feel much better. Guards! Guards! Oh, guards! That guy lightly nudged me. He did what? You sick son of a bitch. You die for your crimes. You were- <coughs> What the fuck? I was only trying to help the ungrateful cunt. Well, not fucking this time. So as I was saying, we'll make our way past the trucks. Ugh, get away. I'm sick. Yeah? Fuck off. Run behind them toward yet another truck, and when no one is looking, take these clothes to dress up as a guest to the heaven party. Now, if you're like me and love bringing some weapons along with you, you won't be able to get past these guards with them. But, there is a side door that you can take to get to the elevator without losing your weapons. You just have to outsmart this security guard. There is no way that I'm taking my ass off of this door. My lord, a coin. Fuck the door. And now we'll just pick the lock to the door, climb up the ladder, and enter the lift from above. Fucking no weapons, my ass. So here we are, the heaven party, and our first order of business is to kill this tossbag CIA agent. Now he makes regular trips to the bathroom. So, can you guess where the best place to kill him is? That's right, the elevator! I heard the two guys were found dead in elevators last week. Good thing that'll never happen to me. <laughs> or you could just take him out while he's taking a piss. Why is my dick so smart? <laughs> <laughs> or... Yeah! Huh? Hey man, not cool. You shouldn't throw explosives at people while they're t <laughs> Now if you do choose to murder the cunt in the toilet, be sure to close the door before you do it. If you don't, you may find yourself in a little bit of trouble. Come on door, fucking close! Ah, oh, the bastard's foot must be in the way. Come on, get in here, come on. Oh my god, what's going on here? Guards! Fuck! Oh, and now the door closes. So now that we've eliminated the agent, we'll take his clothes and press on. There's a laptop that we'll now check to get information on two contract killers out to kill us. They will also become targets. So having checked the laptop, we can see that the shit singer at this party is actually an assassin. Let's show her what happens when she fucking messes with Agent 47. I am a really bad singer, but 47 will never see me kill- THAT BITCH! Yeah, no. But we can actually kill her from the exact same room that we checked the laptop in. Option one is to let her spot you. Okay, bitch, let's see what wins. Your stiletto versus my meat cleaver! Meat cleaver wins. Prepare to die, 47! Ah! Eh. Huh. Well, obviously, the deagle approach is about as discreet as... ...using a fucking deagle. Hmm, I'm beginning to suspect that you were the one that killed this- Aye. G'day, you cocaine-snorting cunts! Oh shit, it's Agent 40 Aye. Don't you guys understand that drugs can kill? <laughs> fucking clean! However, a slightly sneakier approach to this situation would be to grab the shotgun and place it near the balcony. Then, get as close to the wall nearest the door as possible and... Hey, 
Oh, did I hear a coin out here? What the? Who leaves a shotgun so close to a ledge? Hey! Whoa! Ah! Hey. Oh, I fucking do. Now we gotta remember that there is still another gangster in the room. So how do we deal with him? Oh, I think there's a coin at the door. Hey, you're not meant to be here. Oh, hey, look at that. A shotgun. I'm gonna make picking that up my immediate priority. Far more important than finding out why that bald man was hiding behind the- Dang! Ah! And now with the room cleared, we'll hop into this cupboard and prepare ourselves for yet another guest. What the fuck happened here? Let me give you a demonstration, you nosy cunt. Bang! <laughs> Just kidding. What in the name of God is going on in here? Hmm, there's no one around and all this money on the table. I think I'll steal it. Oh boy, I'm rich, I'm wealthy, nothing could possibly ruin this moment. G'day! Shit, something ruined the moment! Gah! And now we'll temporarily take his clothes and dispose of him. There you go, bitch. Welcome, you'll be staying in room A. Just step into the dressing room, change into a robe, and leave your clothes and personal effects for safekeeping. Hmm. How about... No! Yeah, take that, you stupid bitch. Oi! Fuck off! What did I do? She was evil. She was evil, you stupid pieces of shit. I just saved your life. Idiots. Ingrateful fucks. You fucking ingrateful bastards. Well, you know what? I've got a fucking present for you. I'm gonna drop a mine in the doorway here, walk away, equip my detonator, push the fucking button, and blow all you guys sky fucking high! Yeah! Okay, yeah, that joke's overused, but who really cares? It's funny. Or is it? I don't know. So right now, I'm looking for my first target, which I'm gonna have to kill with an accident, but in close range. Um, I managed to track him down outside, walking back up towards the gym area, and here he is now, about to start his weight session. Little does he know it's going to be his last weight session. So he's just going to take a seat on the bench press there and begin his little workout, and I'm thinking that I might go over there and give him a spot. I'll just wait for him to get warmed up, and then I'll make my way over. Alright, buddy. So we want to go for 10 today, okay, buddy? So we'll go 10. That should be easy for you. That's one. Two. This is easy. Easy. Three. Alright, come on. Seven to go. Seven to go. Four. Four. Okay, you got four. Ready? Six to go. Go for five. 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 Oh, you weak piece of shit. Take that. You stupid wanker. Fucking give me ten next time, won't you? Oh, well, probably not now, because you're fucking dead. So that's one target down and two more to go. So now we're going to follow this dickhead in the pink robe who happens to be another one of our targets, and he's going to go have a secret drink from that globe in the middle of the room there. And of course, be subsequently crushed. But in the meantime, let's take a look back at one of our other targets who just loves to cook in his room. This food is going to taste so good. Taken care of. Now in this mission, our first priority is to gain a disguise that will give us instant access to anywhere we want to go. So, go directly to the donuts in the caterer's van on the driveway, make sure that he isn't looking of course, and take them around the corner. Now we do need to be careful here, as there is a jogger that can spot us if we're not too careful. The jogger is not only fucking annoying, but is kind of like a mobile surveillance camera as he repeatedly circles the block, and if he sees you do anything out of the ordinary, he will immediately blow your cover. Even something as common and innocent as injecting some donuts with sedatives. Or even innocently yet brutally murdering a woman tending to her garden. With a hedge trimmer. Now if we weren't gunning for silent assassin and were just looking at being assholes, we would likely just alleviate the problem by... <laughs> killing the prick from the get-go. But as this Let's Play series is all about gaining Silent Assassin, we're gonna have to let him live. Once the jogger has begun to run in the opposite direction and you're confident that you're in the clear, pump those donuts with the sedatives, pick them back up, and take them over to the blatantly obvious FBI van parked opposite to the house. When given the button prompt, place the donuts down and knock on the door. Fresh donuts. That's the How cool is that? Wanna check that out? Full disclosure? We're actually FBI. No shit! And congratulations! Your willingness to inform complete strangers of who you are when you're supposed to be discreetly watching the house, ultimately endangering the very person you were trying to protect, has made you... The most retarded FBI agent in existence! So now Tweedledee and Tweedle fucking retard are going to eat the sedated donuts and pass out. 
allowing you, of course, making sure that the fucking jogger isn't around, to walk right into the van and dress as an FBI agent, ultimately giving you an all-access pass. Also, while you're here, grab the surveillance tape to prevent yourself from being recorded on CCTV. So now that we have our disguise, we can get down to business, which is to kill this guy and steal the necklace from his wife. And to be quite honest, if all the FBI agents here have the same IQ as this fucking idiot, I like our chances. Place the mine in the corner between the hedge and the gate. Then, equip your detonator and blow the mine as you turn around the corner. What's going on? In the midst of the panic, run right through the front door and let Vinny see you from the closet. Hey, you're not supposed to be here! Oi, come back so I can tell you to get out of my house! Now, you sir have no business being in my- no <laughs> Oh my god, what is it with these retarded FBI agents? Firstly, this guy openly tells me who they are, and now, the FBI, the people who are trying to protect Vinny, have fucking run him the fuck over. Nice one, guys. Nice one. Why, hello there. I'm just gonna be a perv. <laughs> ah, that's some good vagina. Ooh, I seem to be getting a bit high off this vagina. And, the lovely wife will then begin cooking the barbecue and... BECOME ENGULFED IN FIRE! Yeah! Uh, she's not dead yet. Yeah. Well, now she is. Welcome to the Mardi Gras, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are here to eliminate three toss bags in order to prevent a political assassination. Meet Angelina Mason, Raymond Kalinsky, and Mark Pariah the second. Now we are going to head directly for our first target straight from the get go. Why, hello there, Angie. If you don't mind, I'm going to be killing you shortly. Now, by far the funniest way of killing this bitch is to climb the conveniently placed objects and ledges, place the bomb on the winch, and when Angelina is in the correct position, blow the bomb and crush the bitch WITH A MOTHERFUCKING PIANO! Yeah! But as cool as this way is in theory, practically it requires a lot of time and therefore patience. So, to spare time, we are going to equip the mighty coin and... That sounded like a coin. I love coins. After all, ah! shoot her in the fucking head. Okay, Mr. Secretary, it's time to dang. Head upstairs, place a bomb at the boarded up doorway, push the fucking button, and hello there. Why are you holding a dang? Don't, under any circumstances, follow her into that fucking bedroom. Why? Well, for those of you that don't know, the girl is actually an assassin out to kill you. And of course, when I first played this game, I was gullible enough to think that I would get some action when she invited me inside. So, uh, how much is this gonna cost? Is there any foreplay, you know? And of course, I promptly reloaded the level to get my fucking revenge. Take this, you deceitful bitch! Fucking stab me in the neck. Then of course out came the guards and I was forced to get out my mind, drop it at their feet and blow them all sky fucking hard. Yeah. Okay, so the first guard has gone into the room, but guess what? The fucking other guard hasn't. That's right, bunny, I'm watching you. Oh, are you now? What about now? Oh, a coin, that's far more important. So now we'll just slowly sneak our way in here and... Oh, for fuck's sake. Wait a minute. Why the fuck am I doing it the hard way? Screw this, I'll do it the fucking quick and easy way. But you know what? First, let's take care of something. Ah, hello again. I'm quite horny now. Did you get the champagne to my room, old boy? I'll give you your fucking champagne, you pompous old cunt. That's for making me go through all that trouble just to get the disguise I wanted. As we enter the corridor, we can see the last gang member kissing a woman in the hallway. Now we just have to wait a moment for our chance to strike. Come on, darling. Let's have sex. Okay. Ah, oh, pre-ejaculating again. I'm sorry, darling. God damn you, you stupid penis. Every time we go to have sex, you go and finish way too early. I have a good mind to cut you up. <laughs> Ah, uh, what a lovely hotel. But, we have no time to take in the view. We've got some fucking killing to do. This cockhead, this cockhead, and this cockhead must die. And we're happy to oblige. So let's get to it! Please, sir. Welcome to the Shamal Hotel. Shut up, bitch. I've got three homicides to perform. Okay, bye-bye. So first and foremost, we're gonna check in and get our room key from the receptionist. Give me my fucking room key! Okay, here you go. 
Thanks. Now we are going to head immediately down the stairs, past the casino, and into the bathroom. Why? Because it's time to kill our first target. Fucking Hendrik Schmutz. Now there is this weird balding dickhead acting like an idiot in front of the mirror. He can be quite annoying as he seems to just linger like a bad smell. Now if we weren't gunning for Silent Assassin, I would definitely say fucking take him out in whatever means necessary. Such as? Oh yeah. I look good, baby. Oh my god, fucking get out! And no, you don't look good. And neither do the other 70 of you roaming this hotel. Oh, what the fuck's he doing now? Boxing. So we'll have to just be patient and when the time is right, influence him to leave. Get out. Okay, but I'll be back in 20 seconds. So now we'll simply sneak up behind Hen Dick and... Oh, I do wish I was blessed with a bigger p <laughs> Shoot him in the fucking back. Or we could put a mine in his cubicle, walk away and... Oh, I shouldn't have eaten all that seafood. Now I've got to take a massive... What's that? <laughs> Don't fucking do that. Now that we've taken care of Schmutz, we'll head back through the casino, through the lobby, and up the stairs to the lift on the left-hand side. Cool it down, and when it arrives, close the door and climb into the hatch. Shortly after this, the scientist will enter the lift. Wait until it starts moving, and then take him out. Wow, I'm in such a good mood today. I feel as though nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> Leave your sniper case above the lift for now and pop down and grab the payment briefcase that the scientist dropped. See your key card, sir. Okay, relax, constable. I'm going. Take the lift back down to the lobby, head back toward the casino, head through the doors on the left, and place the briefcase Another in the alley. Another method of killing both Schmutz and the stupid scientist is to wait on the seventh floor and then tail Schmutz into his hotel room. Hey, you, sir, have no business being in. Hmm, I've got no idea. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Uh, you get it? Now, before we leave the room, we're going to head back into the hallway, grab our sniper case, go back inside, unpack our sniper rifle, and snipe the scientist from a distance. Dum -de -dum -de -da. Wow, I'm still in such a good mood. And now I'm just going to stand here and stare out this window just long enough for someone to shoot. Oh! Take that, cunt. So now that we have taken care of both Schmutz and the scientist, it's time to go after our final target, the Sheik. Now, there are two ways that we can go about this. Method one is to conceal your weaponry in the DNA briefcase in Schmutz's room, take the lift back down to the lobby, head through the casino, past the bar, and interact with the Sheik. You are Hendrik Schmutz. Yes, shake my hammer. It is a large casino. Ah, uh, yeah. Good observation. Perhaps you'd like a drink? Nah, mate, I'm good. Yes, a very large casino. Didn't you just say that? So can I kill you now or, or not? Because now we have to watch a fucking dancer while you clap like a moron. <sighs> fucking get out of my personal space! Ah, finally, the payment briefcase. You can obviously get it this way after you snipe the scientist through the window. Okay, so everyone's gone. Now can you get up so I can kill you? This is a large casino. Oh, I fucking know. Why are you repeating yourself? Get up! It is a very large casino. Oh my god, shut the fuck up! Here, have a fucking coin. Oh, a coin. Okay, so now I'll get you. Oh, did I hear a coin? Oh, come on! Is it too much to ask for two minutes alone so I can fucking kill you? Okay, mate, it's time to fucking die. Have I told you how I feel about the size of this casino? Oh. E Fuck! That was an ordeal. I still can't get over the fact that this is a very large casino. E Shut up! There are a few different places that you can snipe the sheik from other than your hotel room. For example, Meet Samantha. Hey there, stud. You're not alone, are ya? <sighs> now she is absolutely smashed and takes you back to her room for some sex. Too bad she is far from sexy. Ooh, is that a gun in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, not right. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, love, but this really isn't doing anything for me, so, uh, I really see no other solution. <laughs> Oh, <sighs> had to be done. Okay, just just put up with her dancing this time. Just put up with it. No, no, there's no way I can put up with this. I'm sorry. You know, I would say blow me, but to be honest, your repugnance has me blowing you. Sky fucking pie! Yeah! By the way, has anyone ever noticed this guy? What's going on? Every time, each time you play it, no matter what, if you go into Samantha's room, this guy comes fucking racing out of his and stands right by the door. And I've quite frankly had enough.
What's going on? What's going on? I'll show you what's fucking going on, you nosy cunt. Curiosity killed the fucking cunt this time, didn't it? So although if you're prepared to put up with Samantha's dancing, you can get her keycard when she passes out and ultimately shoot the sheik from her room, why would you do it when you can do it from your perfectly good room? It gets the job done quicker and you don't have to put up with that. So now with all of our targets dead and gone and no suit to retrieve, we are going to head back down to the lobby, through the double doors to the left of the casino, retrieve the briefcase we stashed here earlier and get the fuck out of here. But before we go, a quick photo with some very keen fans of mine. I'm so happy that I landed this bodyguard job. Better pay and better benefits than my last job. Ah, uh, after years of struggling to make ends meet, finally, things are beginning to go my way. <laughs> yeah, like that bullet. Panning our view to the right now, we spot yet another target looking across the cityscape. I don't know about the other guys, but I couldn't be happier that I was stationed on this rooftop. The views are magnificent, picturesque, and simply to die <laughs> Couldn't have put it better myself. Once that dickhead's been dealt with, we'll move our sights back to the previous rooftop and focus our attention on this guy. Mmm, that warm sunlight feels so good on my skin. I know somebody that's going to have beautiful golden brown skin this beach season. <laughs> wow, I'm quite high up. I wonder how long it would take me to get down. <laughs> About five seconds. Well, I think that this is as good a time as any to gaze dramatically at my reflection in the water and deeply reflect upon my life. <laughs> reflect on that. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are we waiting for? Let's end this. <laughs> Well done, 47. Leave your position and the agency will take care of cleanup. Hey! What the? I must not know my own strength. Wow! Whoa! Yeah! You hear that, city dwellers? I'm a lean, mean fighting machine! Bring it on! Come at me! Let's see what you got! I'm the best star! Around! Nothing's gonna ever keep me down, I'm the best, yeah! Around! Nothing's gonna ever keep me down! That ought to do the trick. 47, stick to the targets. No. She is definitely a lot sexier than... Well... That! But regardless... Take this, you fucking slut! Let's... <laughs> 47, stick to the targets. One last thing before we wrap this up. You'll notice on the rooftop terrace of the hotel that there are several explosive mines that have been carelessly left lying around. Therefore, if you're not one for subtlety, we can shoot this mine causing it to become active and armed so that when Richard Strong and his bodyguards casually stroll by it, it blows those motherfuckers sky fucking Norman, nobody takes my pawn.